Hello again. Right, today Newton. I'm going to show you how Newton is wrong and tell you why Newton is wrong and give you, in fact, the true answer. The reason Newton is wrong is that his calculation would only stand up if both objects, both planets or spheres, were of exactly the same size. Only then would you get a constant in the middle because no two objects are the same size so it's a variable constant between the two. So, in fact, the gravitation would always be further towards the smaller object. So, once I realised this, I decided to have a go at it myself. And here's the answer. I equals force. E equals time. You can only measure anything using time. 3 equals mass. And GCT equals gravitational constant time. Now I've showed you before how things work on reflection. Everything you see in front of you is a reflection. Once you understand this, you can turn around the letters and the numbers to find their true meanings. So, let's have a look at this. So, we have a variable constant. So here's the, so time and mass, time and mass. As you can see, one's bigger than the other, so it would be variable. So, one three is three, three squared, is 9, giving us 12. So the answer to the number is 12 squared. But of course it's variable, so we have to have the other calculation. So E, E. How do you get if, if from E, E? I'll show you. In reflection, there's an E. All you do is remove the bottom leg and you get if. Now we've got two of those, hence why it's if, if. So if being where it would be located, always variable, and 12 squared. Now we can prove it again by saying 12 squared is 144. And we take F and put it in reflection. So here's an F, turn it around, and you'll find you get one of those, an 8. Reflect the 1, get a 1. So you get 18. 18, as we know, is essential. It's actually I8. And I've showed you with Einstein, which is here, how I8 is the calculation that unravels everything. I've proven Einstein's theory. Please watch the other video to see that. So we're back to Newton. The actual calculation then would be EI equals GCT equals F12 squared. And just to prove it, reflect and see what you get. How about this? I'm G, turn it around, reflect it. You see it? Yep. Yeah. Take the line. Iron gate. So it's the gateway, you could say. So you can play with this and you can find out lots of these de decent meanings right from this little code here. So for instance, obviously, you've also got T-I-M-E. So you can take time from it, or C-T time in fact. So there's the answer. That's the answer to Newton. If you want to find a variable constant, because it's always variable, because two objects are never the same, it would be that answer, if, if 12 squared. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that is the truth. I hope people, people realise it. Obviously, look at my other videos. I'm answering all sorts of stuff through reflection. Everything is a reflection. So through reflection, we can unlock everything. The answer to everything. Right, peace to you all. Laters.